Hey guys, so welcome to today's video. Um, I want to talk about when to kill your Facebook ads and when to stop them, when to increase budget and so on, because many people tend to kill their Facebook advertising campaigns too early. And many people ask me, um, yeah, when they know they should kill them and and how they could know that they had a lot uh, enough traffic now and so on. And of course, first of all, I must say there is no general rule, of course, because any shop is different, any ad goal is different, maybe you want to have impressions, maybe you want to raise your brand awareness, maybe you want to, you know, get direct results, direct conversions, there are many different things that you might want to achieve, so depending on your goal, um, yeah, it changes when you should stop your, your ad campaign, but I, I try to give some general info on this, and what you can see here is my Facebook ad account, I'm using the business manager so it might look slightly different to yours and this is a campaign I just made up yesterday and it's just a very quick and small test so I just spent five euros a day and as you can see here I, sp I spent five euros 53 so far and um, yeah the reason why it says sample campaign is I just renamed it because um, yeah not that you think that I use such a stupid name for my campaigns because you should always use a des uh, descriptive name of course so that you can so that you know what's going on very quickly and easily. So now to the results of this very very short and cheap campaign. Yesterday I got 10 link clicks and it cost me 30, 40 cents each, so 40 euro cents. And today, yeah, like one day after, I, I paid 15 cents per result. And I'm targeting Germany, so pretty pretty targeted German customers. And since German traffic is more expensive than many other countries, this is a qu quite a good result, especially the 15 cents. So if I could stay to 15 or maybe even 10 cents per result for this, I'd be really, really happy because 10 cents from a German potential customer is already yeah, a great amount, especially for my particular store where products are a little bit more expensive than the average one. No, it's not the, the last store I showed you on the how I made 200 something thousand what it was I don't remember um, but yeah so when to stop your ads this particular ad campaign is very small just 418 people viewed it so far so I didn't even get a quality score yet but the result rate is actually quite okay so 5% and 4.57% funny thing is that this today I had a result rate of 5.1% but just after refreshing the video uh, refreshing the page before the video it dropped to five, uh, 4.57 because I got some more impressions without any clicks. But when you should kill your campaign now it really depends on your specific store because yeah, e-commerce stores conversion rates can basically range from 0 to like 5% and above. So really good stores and really trustful and branded stores, Amazon for example, get really high conversion rates because they have the trust, they have the they have the fans, they have, you know, people are safe buying there. But the really small ones, which which have just been opened like two weeks ago, without any follower base, without any trust, without anything, have of course a much, much, much lower conversion rate, at least normally. So there are always people who manage a three percent conversion rate immediately, but normal is something like 0.5% or so, right? So it's not that I can expect some sales after 20 link clicks, and this is something that people sometimes really forget. So, I mean, this is a really extreme example, so if you really expect sales after 20 link clicks, well, then you're just crazy, and I should say, maybe you should try something else than Facebook. But there are also people who get like 50 or 100 clicks, and they don't get any sale, and they say, well, what's going on? What's going wrong with my store? What am I doing wrong based on this? And yeah, this is something nobody can tell. But another thing is that the first euros you spend in a Facebook campaign like this one are basically just to get some insights about the audience and about your store. So you, d you direct the traffic to your store and then you know, okay, what's, what's going on with the visitors? How long are they staying on my store, like using Google Analytics and so on? and what are they doing there and after this you you have some insights about which age group for example worked or which customer group or which target audience if you split tested the ad and stuff like this so i always say the few days maybe even a week 
spend spending five or ten euros a day is just for getting that data so if you if you put if you spend one week and let's say like 35 or 70 euros on an ad campaign after this you have some good insights about the about the ad and about the audience so no extremely good insights because yeah maybe you just get like 100 clicks or something like this or even lower but at least you know where to start and after this you know which which group performs better and maybe which ad set performs better if you do split testing and then you can spend more money on this particular one and yeah basically know what's going on but you shouldn't kill a facebook ad campaign before it made like well at least a few hundred clicks right so if you the, the there is one exception and this is if you realize that the reason why they don't buy um, is a very very specific one so for example if you use tracking software and people visit your store and as soon as they click on your product page they leave immediately after a second then you know okay maybe something is wrong with my product with my price or whatever but if they are staying quite long on your page and I don't know they're clicking around a lot and they're doing a lot of things or whatever you might be on the right track and still need to to optimize your store or need to give some further information or retarget them this might also be very helpful because many people tend to buy only at the second third fourth time they see your store and not immediately so when you got the visitors and when you see that your click-through rate was quite good there's no real need to you know to improve the, the ad like all the time or think hmm, how can I make a better one if you have good results uh, maybe a good quality score then you know okay your ad is okay what you have to work on is your landing page so your so your store um, if I get like a quality score of 8 now for this I know okay my ad is not the problem if I don't get any sales after a few hundred link clicks then not the, the ad is the problem but the store behind it right maybe I need another strategy maybe I need to retarget them maybe I need to add some more trust I need to redesign parts of the page but the problem is not the it's not the ad then so before you decide to kill an ad make sure that you got enough impressions on the store uh, on the on the ad and enough clicks this also works if you do post engagements or conversion um, goals for, of course and at the same time make sure that you identify real weak points of your store so if people go there and all leave on one certain page or if people go there and all leave immediately then something is wrong with your page or with the link between ad and page because if you made an ad that is completely irrelevant to your to your page then you know that something might be going on there and they that the user the users feel tricked because you yeah you did two separate things so give Facebook some time to optimize their ads I mean this is a really good example of how the, the first day was okay but not that great and the second was way better already so give it at least three to four, five, four days to to play around with the algorithm I often even give five to seven days the only exception is of course if, a, if an ad is really really bad so if you get like thousand impressions but only one click or something like this then you know that something is wrong with your ad set or with your, um, better say with your ad copy or something but normally with if you have this results then don't break and stop your ad immediately and yeah rather focus on your store and other things and just let it go for a few more days I hope this was helpful for you um, I will definitely do some more videos about Facebook advertising and general advertising. You can also post a question in the comments below if you want something answered in particular. And well, then I say see you next time guys.